So today we're going to talk about the menstrual cycle hormones and some of these same hormones are found in males but we're going to focus on the female system right now. So you should have your note packet out and you should be turning to page 45. So we're going to talk about the menstrual cycle in two parts. We're going to talk about what happens with the hormones in the first half of the month when the egg is being made and then we're going to talk about what happens to the hormones in the second half of the month when the egg is released. And both of these systems are a negative feedback loop system. And what a negative feedback loop system means is that the system controls how much product is produced, in this case the hormones, by shutting down when those hormones get to a certain level. So as I said, during the first half of the month, the egg matures. So when we say made, we can also say matures. And let's talk about what's happening. Well, I want to talk about some hormones first. So first, I'm going to talk about the luteinizing hormone, L-U-T-E-I-N-I-Z-I-N-G. And I'm going to abbreviate that L-H. So in the diagram, you'll know what that is. And this hormone helps eggs mature. And it also triggers ovulation. And ovulation is when the egg is actually released from the ovary and it goes into the fallopian tube. The other hormone we're going to be talking about is the follicle stimulating hormone. stimulating the growth, I'm sorry, growth of follicles in the ovary, ovaries, before the release of the egg. Okay. So those are two hormones that I'm going to be talking about. So when you hear them, you'll know what's going on. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. So let's look at what happens. So we have the pituitary gland and I'm going to abbreviate that PG pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland controls the release of the hormones. So there is communication from this pituitary gland to the ovary. And what happens is that the pituitary gland releases the hormone FSH. which travels to the ovary and tells it, meaning the ovary, to mature an egg. Then what happens, I'm going to make a line from the ovary to the 
the uterus. I'm trying to point to the uterus here, which is the pear-shaped thing, pear-shaped organ. So ovary to uterus. So what happens next is the ovary releases the the ovary releases the hormone estrogen which travels to the uterus and it does two things number one it tells it to thicken its lining now this is important because if the egg is fertilized in the fallopian tube it's then going to travel to the uterus for implantation and we need that lining thickened so that the fertilized egg can implant in the uterine lining. The second thing it's going to do is to tell the pituitary gland to stop producing FS FSH. It tells the PG pituitary gland to stop producing FSH. Then what happens I'm going to put a line from here and I got to put a line all the way back up to the head. So I'm going from here all the way back up to the head. So now something else is going on. So now we're at the ovary, right? Now what happens is estrogen tells the PG, pituitary gland, to stop producing FS, FSH. and then the cycle starts all over again. All right, what happens the second half of the month? So the second half of the month now, the egg has been released, okay? It's in the fallopian tube, awaiting the arrival of the sperm. So we still have a feedback loop going on. What's happening now? So now, from the pituitary gland, down to the ovary, the pituitary gland releases the luteinizing hormone. Which travels to the ovary and tells it to release the mature egg. Once that happens, you've got the ovary 
And we got the uterus involved again. The ovary releases the hormone progesterone. which travels to the uterus and one tells the uterus to thicken the lining and preparation of fertilization and implantation and two tells the pituitary gland to stop producing LH and then lastly you also have something else going on back up to the brain once the progesterone is released progesterone tells the pituitary gland to stop making a LH which is what I wrote down there but I want you to see it over here as well okay because that's coming out of that so there's two rolls okay so this is really the second one here the green line and then this is the purple one so it's got two rolls ovary releases the hormone progesterone which travels to the uterus tells the uterus to thicken the lining and at the same time it also tells the pituitary gland to stop producing LH Okay, that is it.